Hello everybody, this is Busy Mommy Cooks. Well, today I'm going to share with you a very simple uh, dish called the um, soya sauce mixed with turmeric powder chicken wing. It's so simple to make that a busy mom like me, that all the time are busy uh, with my work and all, and yet I still feel like making some nice, simple and delicious meal for my loved one. So now, let's look at the things I've prepared. I have prepared the chicken wing and I'm using the organic one um, because I want my family to be healthier. So I always would choose fresh ingredient. This is the organic um, chicken wing. It's a bit smaller. Um, I cut it to half so that it will be easier to eat and easier to cook. Okay, and I pre-washed it and I also dry it. And I have here some soya sauce, light soya sauce, just a little bit. If you, I don't really measure because this is home cooked. I'm cooking for my loved one, so uh, you you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay. And I have here pepper and again uh, and turmeric. Okay. I'm using um black pepper and I'm using turmeric powder. Okay. Okay, like I mentioned, this is a very simple dish to make. It's a soya sauce uh, with turmeric powder, fried chicken wing. No, it's simple, fast, and safe and time. So I prepared all the chicken earlier, uh, dried it, cut it to half so that it's easy to eat. Now I'm going to pour it into the bowl. Okay, I'm going to pour in some soya sauce, light soya sauce. Just maybe about three spoon is good enough. Turmeric powder. Okay, turmeric powder is actually um, a very good um, kind of spice where they give you a very nice flavor and yet it have a lot of a uh, healing properties that may be healthy for your family and um, a dash of uh, a dash of sesame oil to create that even more fragrance when you fry it and lastly all I need was just I mean all I need is just a few cloves of uh, garlic this garlic if you can you find those big round one and you, you know give it a smash with the back of your knife so that the flavors from the garlic can be you know be, be brought out while you marinate it okay I'm gonna put it a little here, there. It will give it a good stir so that it will be even. Okay, it will be evenly with all the chicken. I to get it even so that you don't get some too salty, some too much um, turmeric, some too much pepper. I'm a very busy mom because uh, my job takes up a lot of my time, but. I always would love to cook for my loved one, especially my son who is in university where he, he is schooling and attending classes, um, sorting his time to match with all the projects, assignments, you know, passing the thesis and also exam, facing examinations. So I will always, whenever I have time, I will always try to cook for him and make sure I get the best ingredients. Okay, that's all. That's so simple. Once you get it all even up, all you need to do is make sure that the clove of garlic you know, is in between so that you can get all the flavors to bring up. You can leave it um, in the fridge for 30 minutes, okay, minimum to marinate this. We need to give it 30 minutes to stay so that the chicken meat can get absorb all the flavors from all these simple ingredients and if you can sometimes if I have the time a night before I sleep I will prepare the marination keep it in the fridge and the next morning the next day then I'll fry it okay it's just that simple I'll come back to you while well, this is my hi now we are back here and the food is already uh, the chicken wing is already marinated for 30 minutes and already so we're gonna heat up the wok and add in some oil 
Okay, back in my house, I always take my loved, loved one's health as priority. I'm sure the same for all of you. I'm using um, grapeseed oil that is uh, good for frying and cooking. And sometimes, most of the time, I also will use olive oil. Okay, let the wok heat up a bit. And I'm putting it on a medium heat at the moment. Bit so that it doesn't stick. Okay, once the oil has a um, heat up, you can feel it. We'll put in the wings. Okay. Make sure you pour away the excess um, marinade sauce. Before you throw in, because if not, the oil will be stuck sticking, not brushing all to you. So we need that chicken to be dry as well. Okay. It's not be splashing. Turn down the fire to a medium low heat. Remember not to you know, use too big fire so that you can keep the chicken slowly cooked. If not, the outer part will be cooked and the inner part may not be cooked. And that is really, really bad, okay? So you see it's almost there. I'll just turn it one more time so that I can get it evenly cooked. I just let it fry for maybe less than a minute, maybe a few seconds. Remember, we want this kind of brown but not charred. And it will taste crispy and juicy, tender at the inside, where outside tastes really nice, crispy. Okay, so our chicken are all ready. Let's turn it one more time to the other side. Again, less than a minute, just a few seconds to ensure that it's really, really well cooked. And remember, if you are using frozen chicken, chicken wing or any meat, don't you know, straight away wash it and, and cook it. Always pour it first. Let it defrost. Alright, we are ready. Remember not to you know, use too big fire so that you can keep the chicken slowly cooked. If not, the outer part will be cooked and the inner part may not be cooked. And that is really, really bad, okay? So you see it's almost there. I'll just turn it one more time so that I can get it evenly cooked. I just let it fry for maybe less than a minute, 
Maybe a few seconds. Remember, we want this kind of brown, but not char. And it will taste crispy and juicy, tender at the inside, where outside tastes really nice, crispy. Okay, so our chicken are all ready. Let's turn it one more time to the other side. Again, less than a minute, just a few seconds, to ensure that it's really, really well cooked. And remember, if you are using frozen chicken, chicken wing or any mix, don't not straight away wash it and, and cook it. Always pour it first. Let it defrost. Alright, looks like it is ready to be served. Okay, what I'll do is I have put my plate with this uh, parchment paper or long baking powder and not in baking paper onto the plate so that you can absorb the excess uh, oil so that you don't have too much of this uh, fat or oil and all. Okay, so I'm going to put it here.